Hello everyone, my name is William and I'm an application engineer for Go Engineer. Today I want to talk to you about the new 3D print software, GrabCAD Print. This software was designed by Stratasys and GrabCAD as a tool to make 3D printing a more effective process. For example, this is what the 3D printing workflow looks like for a lot of companies. They usually have an engineer or a group of engineers that design parts, and they also have a printer operator that runs all of the printers and the printer software. When the engineers design a new product and they need prototypes, they have to send their files to the printer operator. They can do this by loading the file on a USB drive, posting the file on an FTP site, email, or a combination of those. Then, based on the printer operator's schedule, he or she will have to process all of the files. This may involve file conversions, editing, and STL file processing. Once all of that is done, the files can then be sent to the printers. Now, there's nothing wrong with that process, but it does limit printer capabilities to one person. And if that person is sick or on vacation, it could slow down production. This is the GrabCAD print workflow. And the reason it looks so simple is because it is. This software is so easy to use that any engineer, technician, or anyone in the company with a CAD file can quickly and easily send their part to a printer without any issues. Some of the main features of the software include processing tools like automatic support generation, control of multiple printers with one software even if they're different technologies, the ability to import native CAD files and repair them if they have issues, a detailed schedule so you can manage the queue for multiple printers even if you're not in the office, status notifications in real time, job history info so you can track machine usage, a mobile app so you can monitor the jobs from your phone, and network security you can trust. Here's a complete list of file formats that can be imported into GrabCAD Print. As you can see, all the major CAD formats are compatible. Currently, only Stratasys printers are supported by GrabCAD Print. However, Stratasys and GrabCAD are working together to include other printers in the future. Supported printers include 2U prints and 2 dimension printers. Also, all the basic features on the Catalyst software are supported on GrabCAD Print. The Fortis 250, 380, 450, and 900MC all use Insight. Unfortunately, all of the advanced features on that software are not yet supported by GrabCAD Print. However, the basic prep features are available. Beta testing is currently going on for legacy Fortis systems, the J750, and Conix printers. If you would like to request access, please email print at grabcad.com. If you'd like to download the software, please go to grabcad.com print and sign up for free. Now what I want to do is give you a live demo of the software. So this is GrabCAD print. And the first thing you want to do when you open the software is add your printer. So if you go to the lower right hand corner and click on add a printer to expand the window, you'll see you have a couple of options. You can either enter the IP address of the printer and click add, or if you're on the current network, you can click on add a network printer and all of the printers on that network will be listed. Once you find the one you want, go ahead and click add and you should have that printer on your list now. And if you click on it, it gives you information about the printer once it's connected. So it tells you how much material you have, how much support material you have, what color you're using, if there's a software update available, which this uprint that I'm using, it needs a software update. So now we can go ahead and open a part. So if you go to the left hand side and click on add models, you should be able to find your parts and import them. Now, as I mentioned earlier, GrabCAD Print can import SOLIDWORKS files, STEP files, STL files. There's a, there's a long list of files that we can import in GrabCAD Print. Now, I'm going to open up this SOLIDWORKS file just to show you that it's possible. And as you can see, I opened an actual SOLIDWORKS file. I'm going to delete that. And this time, I'm going to import a STEP file. As you can see, I opened an actual STEP file. And finally, I'm going to open this STL file. So this STL happens to have some file issues, 
So I'm going to use some of the features on GrabCat Print to fix it. So the next thing I want to do is click on the Model Info button and make sure I'm working with the right units. After that, I can click on Print Settings and decide what kind of support style I want, what kind of part interior fill I want, and what slice height. The Arrange button allows me to move the part, especially when I have more than one, in the most optimal position. The Orient button allows me to orient the part in X, Y, or Z, or also by a face or plane. The last button is Scale. So if I want to make a part at 50%, I just type in 50, hit Enter, and I can print the part at 50% scale. But for now, I'm just going to leave it at 100. The next thing I want to do is go into the analysis mode, which is right here. And the reason is I have an exclamation mark there and here telling me there's issues with the part. So I need to fix them in the analysis mode. In my opinion, this is the best feature of the software because it highlights self-intersections, open faces, inverted normals, and you can fix it all with a click of a button. And the model is fully repaired. Now I can click on Slice Preview to process the part. And as you can see, it's going to slice the model, it's going to add supports, and toolpaths as well. And the part is fully processed. You can use the grab bar on the left to move up and down through the layers, and the one on the bottom allows you to see the fill sequence. There's also a lot of settings over here that you can play around with. For example, if you don't want to see the support material, if you don't want to see the model material, if you want to see this one layer at a time, you can also do that. If you click on View Estimates, you can get a good idea of the runtime and the material consumption for this part. And the final step is to click Print and it'll queue your job to the printer. If you click on the schedule button, you will see that your part is queued on the specified printer. And that's pretty much it for the software. The last thing I wanted to show you was the mobile app, so I took some screenshots of my phone earlier. So all you have to do is go to your app store, type in GrabCAD Print, it's a completely free app, go ahead and install it, and as soon as you log in, you should be able to see all the printers that are listed on your account. You can click on any specific printer and you can see the status of a build and you can even see how much material you have left. The best part is that you can see all of this in real time 24-7 from your phone. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching.